Hey guys, welcome back to Zombie City, my adventure map creative making process that I am bringing you along for a little bit of a, I don't know, building documentary. That should be what we're calling this, I suppose. Last time we built this giant skyscraper here, which I've got to say, like from the back here, I'm not sure about this side here. But yeah, it's, it's pretty good. I like it. It's a massive, and I've gone wrong and done a few things on the inside. In fact, shall we just knock this out here and go for a walk inside this is harold say hi harold i'm not sure if he's going to be a permanent fixture um obviously like back in 1.9 the ai got taken away from zombies so even if i was in survival mode he would not be causing me any trouble and yes it's kind of dark in here isn't it uh we'll have to do something about that i can't remember whether last time i showed you that i'd forgotten the uh the, the stairway in here but i've made a little thing to make up for it hopefully you guys can already see what's going on here boing so oh, it's a little short there i must have jumped a little bit funny on it there but that, that that's cool that i now have ways up and down here it is of course just a little command block underneath now whilst i do currently have these stored underneath that's not where i'm going to keep them all these can go underneath if we have a look inside you can see it's all uh like um absolute coordinates so we can put that down in a little box underneath there i've also gone along and put oh no up 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 is the way i want to go i've put floors in on all the individual floors yes indeed you can see in here i've gone through and put down a little bit of decoration not much and also started knocking through holes for the adventure route here this is going to be a little side quest in and of itself uh, i'm not sure exactly what we're going to have in here but it's going to just be like a fighting your way through for the special item in here you can continue carrying your way up the tubes here uh, they the design kind of changes when you get up to this sort of height but that's because we're running out of room and can only really allow one person to slip through oh hey thanks uh but then we come to a quartz stairway we go up and around the outside it's uh, not the most secure but at the same time it's not exactly a parkour route to get up here so i think it should be fine maybe we'll put some um uh some skeletons or some ghasts or something in here and you can make your way all the way up uh, we're just gonna take a slow wander up here i'm not sure if i'm gonna put any items oh, i meant to put a ladder in here i'm not sure if i'm gonna put any items to be found or whether just coming up to see the view is going to be the reward in and of itself and now that we're up here you can see that it's not just the internals of, the, of this building that i've done i've done a few other parts uh, i've kind of extended this road round i've put a little promenade 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 Promenade, uh, the, the walkway in front of the of, of the uh, sea in, uh, extended this road out a little bit and kind of squared off a few of the buildings and put in some ideas for height. But more importantly, I've put this in here. Uh, this has led me to realise a problem that I have. It, it It's a problem that I should be aware of as it's uh, a problem that I come up with in almost everything I do. I have built a shop here. It's um, it's a potion shop, but not in the sense that you buy potions to take away with you, or at least that's not the thematicness of it. Yes, that's a word, thematicness. Um, it's supposed to be a potion shop that you, at least in the before times before the zo the zombies arrived, you you turn up, buy your potions, and drink in the seating area with your friends, like a coffee shop, right? That's the that's the the parallels that I'm drawing. Is it supposed to be a coffee shop? You can see there's a nice little area out here. Um, I need to put up some like signage or stuff like that around. I put these up here. I, d I don't think I like them. I think I'd actually like to put a map up there showing I don't know prices or something like that. I think that would be pretty cool. But the problem that I'm having uh, is that I don't. I don't know what to call it. I've, I've been struggling now for a couple of days with the people in Discord as well. And about the best we can come up with is Dr. Potts. And, and I'm not sure about that. I mean, it would be nice to spell it out in blocks. DR Potts, you know, that, that, that would work out quite well. And you could get the branding up there on the banners. So, I don't know, we might try that. But uh, I... I I could really do with some help, guys. I've, there's a there's a whole bunch of shops that I need to put in. There's this. There's a trail shop. There's a music shop. But there's going to be other things as well that I just I don't know the names of. Like so, obviously this one we can just call it trails because that that's nice and easy to remember. It's also got a sort of um, a certain ambiguousness to it that that I think goes well for shop names. 
But yeah, if, if anybody can think of any decent punny names, uh, some something that's a good pun on Minecraft or something like that, I don't know. I mean, like we've got we've got various things we need to put down. I'll, I'll put a list up somewhere of different shops that I think we need. But like to, off the top of my head, we're going to need a weapon store. We're going to need food store. Uh, we've already got the potion store. I mean, do we want um, arms and equipment, music? Food, already said food, but yeah, there's going to be all sorts of things that I need to put put in and around. So if you guys can can come up with anything, I will be forever grateful. Uh, let's go over this way. This stuff I don't I don't I don't like the grass. I, I've been looking at it and I'm like, no, this needs to be various shades of stone, M much like this area over here, probably this under here as well. But I put this little grass area in because I could see the council, the the town planning, whatever it is, putting down uh, a patch of grass here in the before time again and then it'll just kind of like rot away to this through use i'm not sure if there needs to be like a more distinct pathway going through here or not but i, I kind of like the the pattern that's going down here it looks good it what well, it doesn't look good it looks broken and i like that uh let's um let's go around here and talk about the next thing i want to do you can uh, i'll show you the promenade this is this is uh, i mean trifle boring trifle boring uh but I intend to fill it with shops. That's the main thing. And indeed, like if we're coming down here, let, let's come over here and talk pathway. So you can see that we go from privately owned pathway, owned by the people who own this building, to city owned pathway. That's kind of what the sandstone represents. I, I don't know if that's a theme that I'm going to continue on, but I, I do intend to. And then we come out to this one. And I'm not sure whether this path wants to go sideways and sideways like this. I'm, I'm fairly sure we want to have a bit going that way as well. That was definitely not in the middle um but yeah going down towards the beach front here so then i'll have end up having shops here i'm thinking for this what we might actually have is if we just have show me show me show me the slabs show me the slabs i, I need something like this i'm just going to build it out of sandstone for now it's definitely not what i'm going to be actually building it out of but if we have a, a, a sort of a profile like this of all the shops here not only do they get extra space on their second floor but it also kind of provides quite a, a, a a uh, claustrophobic feel kind of down here but again this won't be sandstone this will be another uh, feeling but like all the way along maybe with little breaks in the shop so you can kind of nip down the sideway here but you'll get a real sort of dingy back alley feel here which we can fill with zombies and make real sort of atmospheric um it just kind of feels like you know waterfront so i think that would be pretty cool over here i've been working on this um a few world edit issues happened there but that's all right I'll, i will work on that and i love the effect that i've got here this this keeps happening i've got to, i've got to get close before it disappears uh, that's terrible Ooh, let's uh let's do one of these that keeps it keeps happening to me recently, but it's Zombie City. It's supposed to be all a dreary and uh, dank, man, dank. Uh, so under here, I, I kind of feel like I want to build some stuff that comes in like this. Maybe out of iron bars or something like that, just to separate these things off. And then maybe we could have one of these actually being a tunnel leading under. And that would be cool. I've just noticed... A really nasty, nasty effect there. There we go. That's, that's much better. That should bring everything down... And seat it in. Wow, there's loads of this. Can you can you tell I copy and pasted a, uh, a standard design over and over again? So yeah, there we go. That that's looking pretty good like that. Uh, over this way, I have a small tunnel coming into here. Now I'm um and ahhing about whether to keep that. Um, this is going to be kind of there's going to be a, a a pub if you will here somewhere to to just go and get some drinks and then we'll have like um, a sea view balcony out the back here sort of a, a we call them a beer garden around here i have no idea what the rest of the world calls them um sort of looking out over the water i'll probably take out the majority of this land over here and so you can just about see the island over there i think that'll be good now this 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 uh this tunnel under here i'm not sure whether i'm going to keep it or not because one the pub's going to be there but two um not only does it interact with the bottom of the skyscraper but we can go down that's no problem i kind of like to pull it out of the front here and then have a little path going round. It doesn't mean it's kind of susceptible to flooding uh, i'm not sure if that's a thing what have i done here crater that's cool um so yeah i'm not sure about that i also want to put a um a subway in there but that's that, all of that 10 minutes just to uh, get to the real thing about what i want to do over here you see this little headland here 
I, I really like this. I, I think this is a thing that needs extending. In fact, it needs bringing round, following this sort of line round here. All oh, the chunks are loading now. Uh, coming across here, making new headland and joining up with over here. Because I want to put a museum down. And I'm not sure about you guys, but I'm fairly sure almost everything that I want to put in the museum is going to be big. I mean, like, there's a bo bone bone block. Yeah, yeah. So I want to build a fossil, right? I want to, I want to build a giant... Diplodocus, Diplodocus, whatever you want to call it, um, in in the middle of entranceway because you know that's that's traditional, right? Uh, and then I want to build some statues and some some various things that you know speak of ancient treasures dug up by colonialists that have come and stolen uh, some people's heritage. That, that's what we keep in museums, right? Uh, so I want I want to I want to do that in here. And I'm going to need like this sort of space just for just for the fossil right if you come in through this front door like if the front door goes here that's not where i really wanted it i wanted the front door to be kind of on this edge but now that i'm thinking about how people would approach they're probably going to be coming from here so yeah maybe the front door will go there and then you walk in big vaulted ceiling dinosaur things leading off well things leading off that way I, obviously we're going to have to have a small cafe out the back here looking over the water, because that, that's what museums have, small cafes out the back looking over the water. Uh, so yeah, the, the thing I need to do is like make this rock face look a little bit more rocky. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with coastlines, but you quite often have an area of beach followed by what's called a headland, which is all like rocks and cliff faces and stuff like that. And you normally find hotels on the top of them with a lighthouse somewhere nearby. Um, but we're going to put the museum on top of this one. So I want, I want to kind of, I don't know, do we do we copy this out? Do, is that what we do? What, are, what I've kind of been getting the impression of doing. Let's... Uh... Let's come over here. Let, let's 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 find a nice bit of cliff face. What do, what do I like the look of? What do I like the look of? I don't like the corner. The corner's a little bit awkward. Let's get this jutty out bit here. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to steal from here. Oh, that's, that's loud. I'll have to try and do something about that. To there. I'm going to stand under a known point, this one here, uh, and go... Uh, copy yes indeed i've got a feeling this is one of the most inefficient ways of doing this but we'll, we'll go with it I, I do have another option it's just um highly disruptive and i could very well destroy my entire map so I, i'm not sure about that i'm not sure about that should we stand here and see how this goes like that Okay, this, um, not not the best, but we can like start sculpting down. Wow, that is actually really loud. I did not realise I had my game sounds turned up so much. I'm going to take this coal out, replace it with some normal granite. In fact, I'm going to also do this, bring this down a little bit more. Ah, that, that actually feels a lot better now. A lot better. Let's get rid of that, put one of those down there. Uh, there, we, there we go. So, I'm just going to start dragging this cliff face out. I might even now put an Another one here. Look, what's this? Uh, paste. Bam. Does that does that work? Does that work? It kind kind of works. Let's just fill in some of those. Maybe come round here again. Uh, take some of this out. Look at that. Okay, cool. We we are on our ways to having actual cliff faces. We can put some more rock in here. Make it feel a little bit more. Uh, varied and stuff like that. Come in here to a little cave area. Obviously, I'm going to want to like drag all that across. Maybe there'll be like some catacombs under the museum. But anyway, I've, I've got a whole lot of stuff to go and go and do now. Uh, that, that's probably what I'm going to do. See if I can't uh, maybe get a little bit of a time lapse going on the building of the headland. <laughs>
I know I say it every time, but that was quite the time lapse put together. I do enjoy putting time lapses together. It really is something that just uh, fills me with joy as I watch all these clips of music just land into the same place with each other. I just, ah, uh, it's so good. It's so good. All right, so over here, you can see what I've done is gone around and kind of just level this up bit off a bit here. Uh, it was quite shall we say, janky, and uh, that was unnecessary, absolutely unnecessary, as we're just going to put a building right on top of it. But this little cove down here, I've noticed this little space here, and I could quite easily just punch a little hole out here and put a tube of uh, iron? I think I think we're going to go with iron and have ourselves some sort of, if not actual sewage outlet, then a an outlet of some description. Maybe it's the dirty water from the air conditioning? Is that how air conditioning? Conditioning works. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, so yeah, maybe something like that. This is going to take me a little, little second to put together here. But uh, you'll, you'll see in the time lapse, or you would have seen in the time lapse, that I started off with the uh, the world edit brushes, and I think this kind of went quite well. I started off using cylinders around the outside, and that's really given me a nice sort of uneven but still natural looking effect here. I like that very, very much. Is, is that actually how I want to do it? I mean, if I come out here like this, we'll have like this around the outside. Is, is that is that good? Is that good? It's, it's not really, is it? It's more, let's take the corners off. Pile it up with sand still. Uh, it, it, it's looking better anyway. Uh, the other thing I wanted to do, I, I think we can find it here. Um, is there a, let, let, let me try and find a, a help command for this biome. So set biome swamp maybe did that 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 didn't that didn't work. So I've got to double slash it. Let's try that instead. Uh, I got that wrong. So we're gonna we're gonna learn this together, guys. I'm gonna take you on this a beautiful journey. There is of course a biome list, so we get to have a read at that. Is that not uh, some of these are single slashes, some of these are double slashes. It's um not the best in the world. Have I just did I just have to dump uh, capital S? Is, is is that really what we wanted? No. Okay. They've, they've made this difficult to figure out. Hold on. Ah, if I'd taken a second to actually read, it's actually swamp land. Okay, there we go. Ch changed in 27 columns. But I've noticed that the water has not changed colour. And that kind of was the exact thing I was looking for, was the water to change colour. Oh, well, I'm sure once I figure it out, that will be an awesome effect. Because if we have a look over this way, F3N to change my game mode here, and scroll my mouse wheel up to really pick up some speed, you can see that Swamp Water has got a bit of a murky look to it. So I want to kind of use that to indicate some sort of sewage way. But there is something else I want to do before we totally... Every time I put my hand on the keyboard, I manage to press the inventory button again but there is uh, something else I want to do before we wrap up you can see I've got all these lines laid out here and I want to come stand on not that one actually this one right here and do a double slash paste because I've been working on a thing. I have indeed been working on a thing. I think this is going to make a good facade and now that I'm thinking about it I'm wondering whether I want it over in that direction. Let, let's let's try this. How far how far over that way do would I actually want it? Let's let's check this out. One, two, three, four, five. Let, let's go with five. Let's go with five. Um, suddenly, lots of sand. That's not a problem though. Uh, five from there would work out to be about here. 
give or take. You know, I might be a little wrong, but that's good enough for me. I can, I can probably count to five in my head without having to actually look. Yeah, and that gives you a single walkway down the side here. I like that a lot. I'm not sure if I put it one up too high, but we'll talk about that afterwards. This is quite strongly based on the uh, front facade of the British Museum. Uh, hopefully I'll splash up a picture somewhere so you guys can have a look. I uh, went and visited it with my girlfriend recently. It left a, a little bit of an impression, particularly the freeze up top. I thought that'd be a nice thing to take across. Now, obviously, this I, I didn't have the room to make the full facade, though I could have possibly uh, stretched a little bit out on the left here for the full set of columns. But I think, just impressionistically wise, I have, uh, I've hit the nail on the head here. We can definitely drop a room back behind it and start filling it with stuff. And we've got a, a whole load of room here to do stuff with. So that's going to be an interesting one for next time. But yes, indeed, with that, I am going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure. I will see you next time where we're going to probably, I don't know, put a back on this of some description, maybe start working on a few of the exhibitions, the, the things to go look at if you guys have any ideas for that do oh that screenshot button that wasn't quite what i was going for do please let me know obviously i've got a few ideas for the big items but th th it's going to be a museum there needs to be a lot of things and you guys will probably come up with some really nice obscure stuff anything that's a joke or a pun highly highly encouraged but yeah i will see you then when we're gonna do that bye